heart of the English countryside, there's a remarkable village full of remarkable characters, each with their own story to tell. Does he mean us? Yes, I think he does. But I ain't finished my Pilates. I'd better go and tell the others then. Like little snacks, yummy. We love you, sunshine. <laughs> right, thanks. Morris is not the first to get drafted into Dr. Amy's regime. Meet Martin. Hello. And his missus, Helen. All right, me dog. We have two echidnas who were very overweight. Whoa, 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 sorry, sorry. What the heck is an echidna? Book definition, spiny Australian ante to the reality I'm an accountant. Right, fine. Sorry, you were saying. We have two echidnas who were very overweight. They eat insects, and it's very hard for us to get a really good regular supply of insects. So we have to put other things in their diet as well. And that's when the creative chef, Jill, comes in. We've got um, leaf eater pellet that's just soaked in warm water, a couple of tablespoons of dog food, and then one raw egg. This is all just mashed up into a gruel so the echidnas can lick it up as they don't have any teeth. Well, it looks great and really smells nice. They actually like that sh uh, stuff. And to keep them more active, Jill smears the sh stuff around so they can lap it up. You are eight minutes late, Jill, but no matter, it's here now. It's not bad, it's low-fat stuff, yummy. The only thing that would make this small perfect, a Merlot? No, a fine Chianti. <laughs> Morris is an endangered hazel dormouse with a big problem. He's obese. All right. And he has only eight weeks to lose a third of his body weight. But help is in the form of Julian Chapman, a dormouse expert, and Dr Amy Plowman, a top nutritionist. Between them, they are working to get Morris fit and healthy for life in the wild as part of the Hazel Dormouse breeding programme. Morris is now on his new diet, so from seeds and nuts, he's now limited to carrot and dried dog biscuits. Let's find out how he's getting on. How are you? Hungry, all the time, and tired. I can't be bothered to get out of bed most of the time. But it will be worth it. Think of the prize. I'll take your word for that. I can only think of my next meal. Sounds like we're in for a storm. No, sorry, that's my stomach. Oh, right. Well, Morris is not the only one in the village with problems. Stomach problems, that is. Uh, problem? Problem, you could say that. Kevin and his family seem to have something up. No, 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 no. No, the problem is what is down. Jill has the happy task of not just chef for the echidnas, she also picks up after the Diana monkeys. Uh, the Dianas have had uh, soft faeces for a few days, so we're a bit concerned about them, because normally their uh, faeces are quite firm. The samples will be sent away to make sure that it is not something serious, like a parasite or an infection. But Dr Amy thinks the problem is their diet. A lot of zoo diets traditionally have a lot of fruit, whereas fruit in the wild tends to be very dry and hard and full of fibre, but our fruit we've bred it to be much less fibrous and much more sugary. All I know is my diarrhoea is diabolical. I have to go. Yeah, I moved here five years ago to live with the boys and I haven't looked back really. It's a real blast. Are you originally from Stuttgart? No, I'm actually from Frankfurt, but a couple of the other boys are from Stutti before moving here. What can you tell from my accent? Uh, no, I asked Craig, he told me. Oh yeah, Craig would know. Yeah. The thing is, I hear there are plans for me to move on, but if they think that I'm going to leave here without putting up a fight, then they really don't know me at all. He's leaving the bachelorhood and going into married life. I think he's going in with four females. But the hell is a female? <laughs> He'll enjoy it, though, hopefully. 
Over the next couple of weeks, Craig is going to have to pit his wits against Demisi in a battle of wills. The question is, who will come out on top? Demisi is eight years old, weighs 30 stone, and is in the prime of his life. Yeah, we live on the island, which is pretty cool, eating, chilling, and playing with stuff. I weighed only 12 stone when I got here, but now look at me, touch my guns. No, kiss my guns, I dare you. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I work out. Oh. As lowland gorillas are so endangered, it's important that good breeding groups are kept. So that if one day they need to repopulate the wild, there are gorillas to do so. But keeping gorillas is complicated. Yes, yes, complicated, right. You just saw me eating some wood, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, bugger. Will never get me. Ugh, oh, damn this predictive text. Never ever get me. There, done. Yeah, send. What do you think of that, Craig? Yeah? You know, it's the only one with opposable thumbs, Craig. We're still friends, yeah? Huh? Craig. It's been three weeks since Craig and Lee set the trap. And still, Demisi hasn't fallen for it. Yeah, every day it's the same. I come in here and the door opens. There, you see? Do you see the door opening? And the door opens and they put in some banana, like I'm gonna fall for banana. <laughs> Like I'm gonna fall for the banana, Craig, you fool. For the bananas? Bananas are nice. I do like bananas. Don't think I don't know about your clever little camera, Craig. I know your tricks, Craig. But bananas are so tasty, yeah. Oh, damn, my banana addiction. It's so nice. Oh, precious banana, so precious. Maybe just one I will snatch it, you know. No one will know. Just... Just one. Ha! Got it, yeah? <laughs> that was so easy! You're making this too easy, Craig! Just one more. Delicious overripe is the way I like them. Damn you, Craig! Let me out, Craig! Let me out, Craig? Come on, Craig. Let me out. You're tiring me, Craig. Craig! 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 Craig, 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 please! Please, Craig. Give us a key. Hey there, you. Brian, isn't it? We met at a party once, didn't we? You got a key that I could borrow? Give us a key! <laughs> Give us a gun! Hey, Julian. Nice spanner. Did you bring it in from home? Could I borrow it for one second? I want to put up some shelves in here. Oh, I watch your fingers. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Hang on, I hate you, Craig. Yeah. I hate you, Craig! Okay, I don't hate you, Craig. I'm just a whole cup of emotions. I do hate you. <laughs> I hate you, Craig! But I love you too. I'm obviously sad he's gone, but I'm pleased for him because he's gone to a better situation. He's gone to what he was supposed to be doing, is having babies. I As guess. for Demisi... Yeah, I'll see what you mean about the women, Craig. I especially like the blonde. That one isn't bad either. Thanks, Craig. 